Now I would like to show you the specifics of the front side of the device. On the front side of the device, you can see the indicators for the operating state of the device on the left side. When the device is connected to an auxiliary voltage and is ready for operation, the green run LED is on. When the device is not ready for operation or when the fault is pending, the red error LED lights up. The error LED goes out when the fault has been rectified and the device is rebooting. Directly underneath them, there are the 16 B-colored red and green configurable LEDs with the labeling strips besides them for easy labeling of the individual LEDs. On the right, there is a large graphic display, which is able to display alphanumerical characters as well as graphic images, for example, a control display. Below the display, on the left and right, there are soft keys for command prompts in the display. In the middle, under the display, there are the navigation buttons for navigating through menus, lists and graphic images in the display. Now let's have a look at the bottom part of the operation panel. There are the numeric keys, including the so-called function keys. The numeric keys are used to enter values and to navigate through menus. The function keys F1 to F9 are used for actions that were pre-configured with the Dixie 5 configuration software, which enables you to perform actions that needed to be carried out regularly much faster. On the right side of the numeric keypad are the control keys. With the yellow control key, you can jump to the control display. If there is no control display available, or if the device only has a small display, you will jump to the standard base display. The green key is used to activate the selected switching object, for example, a circuit breaker or disconnector. The red key is used to deactivate the selected switching object, for example, to open a circuit breaker in the primary system. On the left side of the keypad, there is additional space for labeling the keys. On the very left bottom of the base module's operation panel, there is the USB board, which has a plastic cover. The USB board is used to connect the PC for configuration with Dixie 5. The last item is the reset key for resetting the LEDs, the display and the status of the output contacts. Let's now have a look at the expansion module on the right side next to the base module. This expansion module has only a blank operation panel. This means only a front cover without any functions. In the next video, I will show you the main characteristics of the rear side of the device.